begin tonight with staffing at Hawaii hospitals. It's reaching a critical point. Now the head of the Hawaii Nurses Union says facilities stretched thin, looking for help any way and anywhere they can find it. And more travel nurses, he says, can't get to the island soon enough. Max Rodriguez with more in a story tonight that's new at 10. A moment of crisis is no longer a hypothetical for hospitals. The president of the Hawaii Nurses Association says nurses at Queens Medical Center are working overload. It's at crisis levels right now. The ICUs are taking, the ICU nurses are being assigned three patients at the same time. They normally take care of one to two patients at the same time. Ross says travel nurses have brought some relief but more people are being admitted. It's gotten to the point where hospital staff, whose jobs don't involve treating patients, may be asked to give nurses an extra pair of hands. You can have even people who aren't nurses who, who are doing administrative desk stuff. They can come, they can answer phones for us. They can run, do, be a runner for me, because when I'm in a COVID room, I can't go out. At Queens West, they are putting up another tent to care for the overflow of the emergency department. But staffing continues to be a problem, and hospitals want to avoid a sharp spike in hospitalizations. The worst case scenario is that we have so many patients that we are unable to care for all of you and provide the right level of care. Right now, our nurses and physicians and respiratory therapists are working so hard to keep it at the highest quality. Ross fears that worst case scenario is not so far fetched at this point. God forbid anyone you know has to be a patient in hospital right now. You're not going to get the care you deserve because it's impossible with the resources that we have. Another wave of nurses are on the way. About 200 more travel clinicians funded by FEMA are expected to arrive in the next few days to the islands. Max Rodriguez, KH12 News, working 